Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be giving a full, honest review on the new Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel. So this product releases today. So based on my review, you guys can figure out if you want to buy it or not. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell so you can notify whenever I post. Alrighty, so. In the shower, I just used the regular um, shampoo and conditioner by Lust and their deep conditioner. Um, those are the regular Lust products. They recommend using their three-step system and then their new gel. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do it with a twist. So on, this is my left. So I'm assuming it flips it. So I'm gonna say on this side, instead of trying to do left and right. On this side, I'm just gonna be using the um, styler, the all-in-one repair hydrate style. And then on this side, I'm gonna be using the styler and the gel so that we can really see what is this gel doing and is it really worth getting the gel if you have the styler? Like, are we gonna get the same results? Do you think the gel's gonna do anything? So yeah, my hair is freshly washed, just got out the shower. I'm just gonna dampen it a little more on the top. All right, cool. So. Now I'm just going to apply the styler as I always do, just raking it in. I'm going to put a little more just because it doesn't feel like I have that much in my hair. Alright, so this is the side with just the styler. Now this side, I'm gonna do the styler and the gel. I'm gonna use about the same amount of styler that I used on this side, just so that there's no discrepancies. I'm raking it in just like I raked this side in. All right, so it looked the same. Obviously, they have the same product in it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Irish Sea Mosh Gel. So just so you guys know, the key ingredients are Irish Sea Mosh, Acai, Aloe Vera, Passion Fruit Oil, and Rice Bran Oil. And then for the directions, it just says for best results, use with the Love Your Curls 3-step system, which I already told you. Um, after applying the all-in-one th step, step three, add gel and style as you normally would. Adjust the amount of gel used to achieve your level of hold and definition desired, air dry or diffuse. So I'm not gonna use a lot of gel. This is what the gel looks like. It's a little thick. Let's see if it's sticky. Um, It's not sticky, it's more of like a slimy consistency rather than sticky. So I'm gonna use the praying hands method and I'm just gonna like that I actually found out that when applying gel this works best for my hair because I apply it like on every part of my hair and then I go up with it so not only does it give me definition I also get some volume all right so let me add a tad bit more there we go. All right, cool. So, let's see. So from the front, we can obviously see because I put the gel and I used the praying hands method. Ooh, my camera's falling. I used the praying hands method. The curls right here are more defined than the curls over here. Um, In terms of hydration, they both look hydrated. Um, I don't see any frizz on either side, so we're good on frizz on both sides. See, so yeah, I feel like it's more of just the clumping of the curls on this side, because obviously this side I didn't use praying hands. This side I did and added the gel. So yeah, um, I'm gonna come back when it's dry so that we can really see if the gel did anything. So yeah, I'll be back. All right guys, so we are back. I haven't fluffed on my hair yet, and this is what it looks like. So this is the side that has the gel, inside curls, ends, and this is the side that doesn't have the gel. 
so let me just stay up here real quick as you can see these curls are way more defined than the ones over here these are a little more frizzy like right here specifically this is really frizzy and i feel like overall there's more shine on this side than there is on this side so right now i'm saying that the gel i'm seeing that the gel is doing something um right now it's giving me more definition and more shine so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to fluff it out with the um, Mish Beauty Polish Hair and Scalp Oil, which is what I always use. And then we're gonna see for the final results what the difference is. <sighs> okay, so this is about as fluff stuff as it's getting. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I did realize that the side with the gel dried a lot faster than this side. So, just like an observation. Okay, so, sorry. Um, I do see more definition on this side than I do this side. So, it's definitely giving the definition. Like I said already, the shine, it's giving that as well. Um, if, at first it was crunchy because it had a gel, it had a gel in it, but now it is no longer crunchy, so it's nice and soft, just like this side is nice and soft. Um, I do feel like it does give me less frizz, more defined curls. Um, obviously the volume's a little different because this has gel and this doesn't have gel, but um, yeah, so definitely it gave less volume, more hold, uh, more defined curls more moisturizing and dry faster don't know what the drying faster has to do with anything but oh no let me rephrase that don't know why it dried faster but it did than this side so yeah i definitely say that the um lust curl cmos gel does have a difference between using it um with the styler and just the styler alone so i also really like my results as a whole you guys let me just go in there you know do you see this definition these curls the moisturization um definitely i recommend this gel and this whole like the two steps the um styler and the gel together 100 percent recommend my curls look awesome like it's literally insane so yeah i also had used the gel um prior to this but i didn't do a comparison on what it was like like the difference and what it really did to my hair so doing the comparison really showed me how much the gel impacted my curls and my wash and go um but yeah so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and turn on the bell so you notify whenever i post